Hi Gateway Kids and Families, it's lovely to see you all again. I've got a story today about another family long ago who also had to be in lockdown for 40 days and 40 nights. I thought today was a good day to tell you. Have a look at the weather. So let's start. This story is two by two, by two by Jonathan Allen. Now, have a look at these two down here. We shall see them later in the story. Now, it all began when God told Noah that there was to be a terrible flood coming and that he must build a boat big enough to save himself, his family and all the animals. By all of them, he didn't mean every single one, just two of each kind, one male and one female. So Noah and his three sons, Ham, Shem and Japheth, built an enormous boat called the Ark. When the rain started, the animals came to the Ark in pairs, two by two, by two, by two, by two, by two. They ran up and down the corridors looking for their cabins. There was room for everyone. As soon as they were settled in, they began to make friends. The bald eagles introduced themselves to an elephant. Some small birds chattered to a reindeer and the wood mice swapped stories with an alligator. The sloths and bats joined the Upside Down Society. The ducks and geese got to know the duck-billed platypus. They'd never seen anything like him. What kind of creature was he? In an isolated corner, the skunks and polecats found the Smelly Society. But not all the animals behaved so well. A wolf and a leopard thought a game of skittles would be a good idea, using penguins for skittles and armadillos for balls. The spider monkeys tried playing darts with the kingfishers. Luckily, the porcupines stepped in with a kind offer before any harm was done. A pygmy hippopotamus had a swing on a handy piece of bright coloured rope. And the chimpanzees set up a fur and hair clinic with hedgehogs as hairbrushes. Now things were getting out of hand and Noah had to have stern words with them all. To keep them out of trouble, he organised some games. The soccer tournament was a great success until the hippopotamus went in goal. Rams and bears and Bengal tigers and bulls wanted a game of American football, but nobody else would play with them. There was a basketball championship, which the kangaroos team won easily, once the apes had been disqualified for hanging on the ceiling. For the more adventurous types, there was hang gliding from the upper deck. And there was an arm wrestling contest, which the gorilla won, but it was close. Everyone enjoyed playing Ring the Rhinoceros. And the giraffe slide was very popular among the smaller animals. Some of the animals felt homesick and Noah tried to cheer them up. He let the penguins take turns in the fridge. While the polar bears made the most of the small space available. And the parrots all wanted to sit on Noah's shoulder 
but they had to take turns too. And he put out bowls of water for the wading birds who were missing their shallow pools. Animals like to keep clean, so Noah set up an animal cleaning station. The elephants got special treatment in return for spraying water. The drying and body care team rubbed and scrubbed. The trunk and tusk team dusted and polished. And the toenail specialist cleaned and brushed. There were some animals who only came out at night. To make them feel at home, Noah made a special nocturnal room. Everything was fine until somebody put the light on. Can you see who it is? It was a frog and a rabbit and that wasn't all they did. They tied the ring-tailed lemur's tails together and they bounced on a sleepy buffalo and they made faces at the puma. Noah was not pleased. It seemed a shame not to make the most of the water, so Noah built a floating platform where the water-loving creatures could sit or go for a swim. Noah even tried water skiing pulled by a friendly dolphin. The elephant had a horrible sinking feeling but still enjoyed being pulled along by a small whale. As if all this wasn't enough, Noah started a weekly show in which everyone could take part. There were competitions for the most unusual nose, the strangest beaks, and the most interesting horns. Some of the animals started a band. Enrico Elephant and his animal stompers. They got the whole ark rocking. A kookaburra and a hyena got together in a comedy double act. They laughed so much at their own jokes that they couldn't even finish them. <laughs> and they were terrible. The Bactrian camel and the dromedary did their amazing hump trick. And Noah and Japheth did a tap dance. That went down a storm. The animals were having a lovely time. But then there was a lurch and a crunch. The flood had gone and the ark was on dry land. Noah hastily got all the animals together for a group photograph. It was time for the animals to leave. Noah had taken good care of them, but now they wanted to go back to their homes all over the world. They said their goodbyes and thank yous to Noah as he checked them off on his list. There were so many different animals in that story, wasn't there? I hope you enjoyed it. And didn't they find a lot of things to do when they were stuck on the ark for 40 days and 40 nights? I hope you are finding some fun things to do together with your family in this time. Bye for now.